Hello world. Every expression in C++ has an associated value category. I wanted to talk about these because most of the people that I've talked to in the past don't actually know what these are or what they mean. The names themselves make learning them a little bit tricky, so I'm hoping to demystify that now here for you. It's important to note that the terminology used for value categories changed in C++11. Prior to C++11, there were just R values and L values, and we still have those today, but there are three additional ones. The properties which they identify are a little bit more clear cut now. There are basically two properties that you want to be aware of. One is whether or not the value has an identity. These are GL values. The second property is whether or not the values resources can be reused. That is to say whether or not we can move from it, leaving it in some indeterminate but valid state. For these values, we have the term R value. This is where a little bit of the confusion comes in. I want to point this out. Where we had L value and R value in the past, the higher level categories, GL value and R value, are the two that are at the same level. L value refers to a GL value that is not an R value. That is to say, an L value has an identity, but we can't reuse its resources. For a value that is an R value, but not a GL value, we have the term PR value. That is to say, this value is about to see the end of its lifetime, and we can reuse its resources if possible. But this value does not have an identity associated with it. In the case where a value has both properties, we call these X values. This is to say it has an identity and we can potentially reuse its resources because it's about to end its lifetime. The fourth possibility in the combination of these two properties, where it has no identity and you cannot reuse the resources, is not named because it doesn't exist in C++. This is pretty much all there is to really know about these value categories. The rest of the effort just becomes knowing for your particular expression what the value category actually is, because that is going to tell you whether or not you can move from the result of your expression or not. Beyond that question, though, there isn't a lot of value to you. This is mostly a compiler or implementer concern. But for instances where you really care to know whether or not you're going to get move semantics, looking at the particular expression's value category can give you some insight as to what is possible or what you need to do to make that move happen. If you'd like to know what the value categories are for the various expressions in C++, you can check out the link in the description below to cppreference.com.